Why, hello there. Brent here with Bring Your Own Tools on today's episode. If you wanna learn how we install this slick looking shelf behind our couch with electrical components built into it, keep on watching. Let it started. Are loose cords ruining your life? Well, BYOT has a solution for you. You don't wanna be that guy, right? Which is why, yeah, I know this is more of an info commercial, but inevitably, all these cords, come on, no one wants to be this. So we're gonna do a ledge back here, make it beautiful, and make it a lot more seamless and a lot less clutter. So let's get to it. Our first step is our material check. And for this project, we're just gonna be using a basic three quarter inch plywood. I rip it down to a four inch width and because of the fact that this span behind the couch is so long, I have to cut two pieces in order to accommodate the entire stretch. The length of the couch on the back side is approximately 12 and a half feet long and therefore I cut each board at six feet three inches. Now I do want the shelf to look like one continuous piece so I cut a separate small section and glue that between each seam. Therefore I'm clamping it down and then screwing it in place so those boards are permanently bonded together. Once I have both boards fully fastened I then flip it over and do a light sand on the top surface just so I know I have a perfectly smooth surface to work upon. As I wait for the glue to dry, I then proceed to figuring out the dimension for my side panel. Now this side panel is a bit unique and different because it has a couple unique angles to it and therefore in order to figure out that exact angle, the easy way is just taking a piece of leftover cardboard, marking a line where the cardboard meets the couch, and then cutting it out with a razor blade. Now this section isn't necessary, but it really does a nice job to encapsulate this entire space, as well as the fact that it prevents all of Kona's dog balls to not roll behind the couch, which is nice. I take my cardboard template and then trace it to a piece of plywood where I can now cut it to the exact measurement of the space. Now because the couch quarter is actually also inset at an angle, I had to cut it at a 50 degree mark on both this piece as well as the shelf side. So with this system, I wanted to have a little bit more elegance to this piece, and therefore I'm gonna use this Ardex feather finish that I've used in a couple different projects. I'm gonna mix it up with some water, put it over the plywood, and it's just gonna have more of a modern, unique look to the entire piece. I'm also going to add a bit of coloring to the mix because I want it to be more of a charcoal, darker version than the plain gray. So let's start mixing. I truly do love working with this product because of the fact that it goes on extremely smooth. And the reason why I'm adding that color into the mix is because the couch is a bit of a darker gray and therefore I want it to blend in a little bit more nicely. I do apply a bit of seam tape at that one seam in the middle just because I want to ensure that that doesn't crack over time. But once we have that taken care of, it is now time to apply our Ardex. And all I use to apply this product is just a four inch plastic spreader. Very easy, very smooth, and I want to give this a bit more of a texture look and feel just to apply a bit more intrigue to this entire piece. It still should be quite flat, but I'm not worried about having a perfectly smooth surface over the entire span. Give it a little character. I let the Ardex dry overnight and then proceed to clean it up the next morning. I just take a quick razor blade to the edges if there's any miscellaneous material left on the edge. I also do a once over with a sanding block to ensure we have a smooth surface before we apply our finish coat. For the finish itself, we are using a polyurethane high performance finish coat from General Finishes. This is a water-based finish which makes for easy cleanup as well as the fact that because it's a polyurethane, it does extremely well with moisture and preventing any damage to the surface itself. I apply the product with a chip brush and in all honesty, I don't know why they call these brushes chip brushes, but if you know, let me know in the comments below. You can apply multiple coats if you want, but in all honesty, I feel one coat is plenty on a project like this. The other nice thing about this finish is that it dries extremely quickly, so as we allow it to dry, let's go ahead and install our brackets. 
I set up my laser level to the side of the couch so I know exactly where the height of the shelf should be. I then grab my stud finder and determine the exact location of every single stud behind the couch. I make a mark where the shelf height is and then account for the thickness of the shelf which is where the brackets need to be set. At this point I can easily align my L brackets exactly where the studs are as well as account for the exact height they need to be through the laser level. A good laser level will definitely cost you but it's worth its weight in gold in my opinion. It's just one of those tools that makes life easier which is always appreciated. And I'll leave a link in the description box below on where you can find this one. Now for the shelf system, we're not going to have any ordinary shelf because we want to actually put some unique electrical components into it, which is why I have this perfect little pop-up electrical unit that has a USB A and C and your general outlets. And you are able to conceal it nicely, quickly, and easily whenever you don't want, such as that. So let's get it installed. I take my 2 and 3 8 hole saw and drill a perfect hole down the center of the board. Now this is where the seam is as well, but because I have the doubled up board below it, it actually gives it a lot more strength and stability than areas that are not doubled up. At this point in time, all you have to do is loop the plug through the hole and then insert the outlet through the hole itself. It might be a little bit snug, but you'll be able to get in there. After that, tighten the ring on the bottom side, and guess what? It's fully installed. I grab this mammoth 12 and a half foot long shelf, place it on top of the brackets, throw in a few screws at every single bracket location, and then go ahead and just push the couch back into position. Now I didn't paint that front edge just because you're never gonna see it, but it does kind of bug me, so I might just paint that with some black spray paint later. When it comes time to install your side panel, there are a number of different ways you can do it, but this way was definitely probably one of the easiest because all I did was take a piece of L metal, attach it to the shelf, and then super glued a couple magnets to the top of the board. That way it's easily removable and secure, but guess what? After that taken care of, we are done! Some projects are just fun, and this is exactly what this one is, as well as the fact that I feel it's very usable because everyone seemingly has a couch, and I feel like a lot of people could use a shelf like this. It's functional, it's almost the perfect shade of grade compared to the couch, as well as the fact that you seemingly can't even see it unless you're right on top of it. And as you can see, does an amazing job at hiding all those electrical components, and that is one thing that I can be truly proud to say is one beautiful, sexy beast. Oh yeah.